Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix EA app temporarily lost connection. So basically, there are several possible reasons for the server, uh, including problems with the server issues uh, on your end as well. So uh, sometimes it can happen by internet connection uh, is slow and unstable, outdated system drivers, corrupted system files, uh, game launcher issues, uh, firewall and ant uh, antivirus block, uh, the EEA app or DNS settings. So the first thing what you need to do here is to you need to temporarily disable firewall and antivirus software. So if you're using uh, some third uh, uh, party act, uh, antivirus software, be sure to disable for a bit and also you need to disable your firewall. So what you need to do here first is you need to uh, press Windows and I key and then just write firewall.cpl uh, and on this window, you just need to go to turn uh, Windows Defender Firewall uh, on uh, or off. And here you just need to press these two buttons here and press OK. And after you do so, then another thing that you can do here, uh, you need to go to settings. And then you need to go to privacy and security. And then you need to go to Windows security, uh, virus and threat protection. And on this window, you need to scroll down until you see a virus and threat protection settings and press uh, manage settings here. And what you need to do here is to turn off a uh, real time protection here. And after you do so, then uh, if the problem persists, uh, then another thing that you can do here, uh, you need to go to settings and you need to make sure that uh, Windows, uh, your operating system, uh, do not have any updates so press check for updates and if there is a basically an update for you that you need to download and install <clears throat> please do so restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then another thing that you can do here you need to go to device manager and you need to go to network adapters and make sure to update your network adapters drivers so if you don't know uh, which one to uh, update just update try to update all of them it's super it's super easy just right click on it go to update driver and just press search automatically for drivers and if there is no update for you uh, another thing that you can do here is to change your uh, dns settings so uh, you just need to press on this network uh, icon on the bottom right corner uh, right click on it go to network and internet settings uh, and then you need to go to uh, advanced network settings here and then advanced uh, uh, more uh, network adapter option here and then right click on your internet go to properties uh, then select uh, internet protocol version 4 and then uh, select this one use the following dns server uh, addresses and on preferred DNS server, write 8.8.8.8. .8 and on alternate DNS server, write 8.8.4.4. Uh, it's just to Google uh, DNS server, so don't worry about that. You can easily change that. And uh, you need to look if you're uh, getting uh, error or not. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, uh, you can rec uh, open your EA app. Uh, here and you just need to press on the these uh, dashes that is on the top uh, left corner of the ee app and then you need to press on help and then you need to press on app recovery and as you can see here you can clear your, your uh, ee app cache here and once you do so then you, you need to restart your basically app and see if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then the, the last thing that you can do here you can go to your browser here and you then you need to go to uh, basically twitter that uh, basically is ea help and you need to look if uh, you're not getting uh, basically you're not writing any messages related to a uh, network or uh, servers connection problems on their end and that's pretty much it what you need to do here if you want to fix this issue. So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.